Hello guys, uh, good afternoon. So allow me to give a reinforcement discussion on nematodes or round terms. So uh, class here, I made a discussion and notes for you guys. So hopefully, um, hindi nyo lang kayo tutulungan ngayon but up to your board exam because what I did is I summarized, I summarized my review notes from when I was reviewing for parasitology. At kasi nga, um, I'll highlight the things that are usually asked in the board exams and some of the things na namali nyo ng exam. Okay? So let's begin with your nematodes class. May clean lang to. I just want to highlight things and this is a reinforcement video Yan. So, hindi to kompleto, mas kompleto sa lecture nyo. Yan. So, just a review class. So, your nematodes are cylindrical worms, are also called as your round worms class. They are helminths. So, they are multicellular. Class, ang gusto ko lang ilagdag dito. Ayun, yun lang, yun lang. So, class, uh, meron tayong review lang. Three terms. Oviparous, oviviparous, and viviparous or larviparous. So when we say oviparous, the female lays an unembryonated egg. Example, Ascaris and Strongyloides, Tercoralis class. So SS ren kasama dito. Yan, Tercoralis. So pag naglili yung ano, mama, mama worm, and embryonated. So, we need a soil as the vessel para mag-embryonate. So, class, para mag-embryonate o ma-fertilize yung egg, kailangan niya ng soil, ma-incubate sa soil muna, sa warm and moist soil. So, sa Ascaris at Strongyloides yun. Itong OVV parus class, pag nilay na ni mama ano, worm, it's already embryonated or fertilized. So, the, in the life cycle, hindi na kailangan ng soil. Example, Enterobius vermicularis. Since pag nalina ni ano, female worm, embryonated na, so the egg could, could be um, easily be infective already. Pwede na siyang makahawa. So, kaya mas nakakahawa sa laboratory, guys, ang Enterobius vermicularis. At least na nakakahawa sa sa laboratory ang Ascaris class. Um, hindi siya common na laboratory acquired infection because it needs soil to be embryonated. Um, unlike your Enterobius vermicularis, once you inhale it, once you ingest it during the process of tape, tape method or Graham, Graham tape preparation ng Enterobius vermicularis, pag na-inhale mo na yun, pwede ka na magkaroon ng Enterobius vermicularis. So, um, e-vermicularis has the highest risk of being a laboratory-acquired infection. Okay? Because the, once the egg was laid, it's already embryonated or fertilized. Yan. And we have viviparus or viviparus, specifically in Tricanella spiralis. Siya lang ang viviparus. So, siya lang ang Pag naglay, larva na agad. Okay, walang egg stage. Okay, so yun na. So, nematodes, life cycles can be quite complex. That's true. So, kailangan ng intermediate host. Yung ibang, ano, yung ibang nematodes. Example is capillaria. Ang intermediate host niya is uh, fish, freshwater fish. Okay, yung mga... Uh, toxocara cani, hindi natin discuss dito, pero uh, they need the dog. So, yan. Some, some nematodes are transmitted through ingestion of eggs. Yan. So, fecal oral. Other nematode infections are transmitted by larvae. Yan. Which must gain entry through the skin. So, ano yan? Hookworm and strongyloides. Okay, so alam niyo na dapat to. So we have aphasmids and phasmids. So aphasmids, the absence of caudal chemoreceptors. Yan. So class, I classified them based, in, based on habitat. Class ito, huwag niyong kakalimutan to kasi lumalabas to sa board exam. Yan, ito yung gusto kong i-highlight. 
So, small intestine, the adult trichinella spiralis is in the small intestine and capillaria philippinensis. In the phasmids, we have strongyloides, ascaris, hookworm, small intestine sila. Magkakalimutan sa colon or large intestine, we have ET, enterobis vermicularis, and tricuris, tricura. In tissues, class, uh, the larvae of trichinella spiralis. Nasa, ano, nasa muscle. So, tissues and lymphatic subcutaneous region and lymphatic tissues, which are area, mga filarial worms natin. Class, Dracunculus medinensis or guinea worm. Yan. So, si Dracunculus medinensis, class, it can be very long. Um, Ayan, sign sa notes nyo. <laughs> Nasa exam si Dracunculus medinensis. So class, this is just a guide. Ayan, so according to habitat, huwag nyo kakalimutan yung cached. So capillaria, capillaria, ascaris, ayan, strongyloides, hookworm, and trichinella, small intestine yun, ha? Pag adult, lahat sila cached. Yan, pag large interest, intestine, enterobius, and tricuris. Yan. So, trichinella spiralis sa uh, muscle. Lymphatic worm, filarial worms, lymphatic and subcutaneous tissue. Dracunculus medinensis, tissue rin. Angiostrongylus cantonensis meninges. It can cause meningo encephalitis. Yan. Kung hindi ako nagkakamali. Yan. Or angiostrongylus cantonensis. So, rat lung worm siya. So, hindi ko i-discuss actually to So, please basahin na lang itong dalawang to Okay. So, marami pa akong ano, um, notes dito that um, direct na ako sa review notes ko. Yan. So, just a review. So, when we say intermediate host, that um, that host carries the larval stage. Yan. So, example with capillaria, the larval stage is found among freshwater fishes. Therefore, guys, uh, ano, yun yung intermediate host natin. Yung larval stage makikita sa freshwater fishes. So, yun, yung freshwater fish ang intermediate host. Definitive host harbors the adult stage. Yan. So, pag ano, pag ang nasa katawan ng tao, class, is the adult stage, the, we are the definitive host. Yan. So, for class trichinella spiralis, um, we are both the intermediate host and the definitive host. Kasi pwede sa atin, mayroon tayong larval stage and adult stage. So, for trichinella spiralis, we are both the intermediate host and the definitive Host. Most common occurrence. Ano yung mga most common na, na parasitic infection in humans? So, enterobius, ascaris, and tricuris. Tricura. Yan. So, for heart to lung migration. So, class, they migrate up to the lungs. So, tataas sila sa lungs. Tapos, tataas sa may ano bronco bronchio bronco sa larynx tapos isa swallow mo bababa sa pharynx tapos pupunta sa small intestine yan ascaris strongyloides hookworm ito makukulit tong mga to mga lakwatsera to so other than ano the small intestine they migrate up to the lungs and down to the heart so class auto infection external auto infection so enterobius vermicularis so class so if the human diba yung gravid female ng enterobius vermicularis lays her eggs in the perianal area um, one reason na nabasa kong bet sa perianal area is because it has a lower temperature mas malamig daw at saka mas aerobic yan mas may hangin sa perianal area so class um external auto infection so when a child scratches the scratches the anal area and did not wash wash their hands auto infection eh. you're infecting yourself 
So once you will eat and you did not wash your hands, so yan, external auto infection, specific for enterobis vermicularis. But when we say internal auto infection, so class, if your strongyloides is um, you're not medicating, it could persist a little bit longer. Yan. And it could get worse because you could infect yourself. Yan. Infect yourself all over again with your um, strongyloides. Yan. We have unholy three. We have triad of infection, meaning sometimes if, we, if a, a child has hookworm, hindi ka dapat magulat kung may ascaris at trichuris. Kung may nakita kang Ascaris egg doon, pwede maltaas yung chan na, chance na magkaroon siya also ng hookworm at saka tripuris. So once you see one of this, yan, you should check properly if they have this Ascaris and tricuris. So if they have tricuris, you have seen a tricuris ova, check nyo lang. Baka may Ascaris, baka may hookworm. Yan. Kasi sometimes magkakatsama tong tatlong to. So, eggs which cannot be distinguished. I just want to add this. So, class, um, among the ancelostoma, the necator, you cannot distinguish the ova in the, among the hookworm species. So, when we, uh, when we interpret, when we see a hookworm ova, we just say hookworm ova. We don't say necator americanos ova because it's indistinguishable. Same with fasciola. This is a cestode and um, tenia. Kung nakakamala ko, sesto ba ang ano? Yan. Hindi, trematode ang fasciola. So, for tenia, um, tenia solium, tenia sagineta, you cannot distinguish the ova. So, pag nakakita tayo ng ova ng tenia, tenia species, ova. Yan. So, class, we have lanterns in parasitology. So, sa ano, strongyloid dystercoralis, the... Ova looks like a Chinese lantern ova. Yeah. When we have a no, tricuris tricura, it's Japanese lantern ova. Yeah. Sa capillaria philippinensis, its ova looks like a peanut shape. Is it raining? Okay. So, for, dito na tayo sa Ascaris lumbricoides class. So, it also co causes your ascariasis, your backyard um, infection. Pwede rin atang dooryard infection kung di ako nagkakamali. Class, you, there is increased um, increase bowel obstruction when, when you have Ascaris lumbricoides. So, pwede silang mag-block, pwede silang mag-obstruct sa colon mo, yan, or sa intestines mo. Pwede silang magbara, kung baga. The worms can also migrate to the lungs, causing pneumonia, cough, fever, and pulmonary ascariasis resembles Leffler syndrome. So when we say Leffler syndrome, it is the accumulation of eosinophils in the lungs caused by different parasites. Yan. Marami actually nagkakos ng Leffler syndrome. So, pulmonary ascariasis resembles Leffler syndrome. Yan. So, for the life cycle of Ascaris lumbricoides, so, the human will, who does, not, who does not have any proper sanitation, wala silang toilet, guys. So, they will poop in soil. So, in their feces, you will find unfertilized egg or unembryonated egg. Kasi nga, oviparous lang yung female. Yan. So, eventually, it embryonated in warm, moist soil. So, class, sa ayaw nyo sa hindi, kailangan ng soil. Yan. Sa ascaris, kailangan ng soil. Sa strongyloides. Yan. So, kung walang soil, class, hindi siya mag-embryonate. So, the infective stage is embryonated egg. Yan. So, class, so the solution for Ascaris lumbricoides, class, the solution for um, strongyloides, class, is proper sanitation. Sana dapat wala ng open defecation, zero defecation. O zero open defecation. Yan. So, class, cached tayo. So, di ba ang cached, ang um, habitat ng adults? is a small intestine. So then, once the adult will 
Uh, then the larva will hatch in the small intestine. It will turn into the adult and begin larval migration. So, nag-embryonated egg ka. Tapos, once the larva will hatch, it will migrate in the SI. It will mature there. Yan. Uh, babalik dyan. So, larval migration. So, it will move to the intestinal walls, blood vessels, liver, blood vessels, lungs, alveoli, bronchioles, pharynx. Lulunokin mo, pupuntang digestive system. Then, mature into adult. So class, yung infective stage, embryonated egg, yung diagnostic stage class, pwedeng unfertilized egg, pwede kung ano, kung masyado ng intense yung parasitism, pwedeng adult na yung fertilized egg. Ay, yung diagnostic stage. So class, um, yun, I think I already said that, that in nature, in the parasite world, class female is, big, is the bigger species. They have the pointed tail, sa male, curved tail. This is their copulatory spicule, so ginagamit nila for reproduction. And they have three lips and triangular buccal cavity. Yan. So class, ano lang just a reminder, kasi sa board exam, hilig nilang tinatanong yung, ano, yung layers ng, um, ng uh, Ascaris ova. Yeah, so the innermost layer of the unfertilized egg is the glycogen layer, yeah, GL. The outer layer is the mammillated or the albuminous layer, yeah. And tapos yung may mga lecithin granules. So pag unfertilized, guys, so ang rough pa niya, yeah. So once it's fertilized in the soil, class, there is an inner vitellin layer. Yan, hindi mo mahanap yan sa unfertilized ova. Inner middle glycogen layer. So napamiddle na yung ano, yung glycogen na kanina na sa inner and outermost still is your mammillated layer or albuminous layer. So when class we say it's a decorticated egg, there's no um, mammillated layer. Perhaps the specimen is already old. Yeah. So with mammillation, we call it a corticated egg. Just a little note, class. Cockroach down may be a vector of Ascaris. And class example, the patient really has Ascaris in, for, in negative stool exam infection class could happen when there is no ascaris infection or it's an early infection of ascariasis or class the the species that you have in your body is male in male only male roundworm only sorry and so magiging negative sa stool examination puro male lang so class Kailangan, ano, male at female yung na-ingest mo para magkaroon na mong baby, syempre. Next, we have enterobius vermicularis. So, class pinworm, seedworm, society, or social worm. So, class, ang sa tawag sa sakit, enterobiasis. Um, itchy anus is pruritus ani. Yan. So, pruritus ani. If the anus becomes so itchy and inflamed. So, it's common among school-age children. So, infective eggs are, so, embryonated eggs are ingested and larvae are released in the small intestine. Okay, pag sa larvae pa lang, nasa small intestines. When it comes becomes an adult, it's in the colon. And the female, so, during the night, will migrate to the perianal region. And so, anal itching results from the irritation caused by the deposition of eggs. The eggs will be infective for several weeks and can be found in dust clothing. Yun. So, kailangan, ano, di malinis class yung linens, ganyan. So, class, so amazing that the Eterobis vermicularis egg is D-shaped. So, you could see the larva in there. So, oviviparus ang fem gravid female. So, the larvae is in the small intestines. The adults are in the colon or in the cecum. So, cecum is the part of, a, of the large intestine or colon. 
Class, same with your Ascaris. Pag lalaki, curved yung tail. Pag babae, ano, pointed yung tail. Here, tricuris, tricura, class, rectal prolapse. So, the rectum could ano, fail to maintain, maintain its position. So, ano, nag-collapse siya, parang ganun. Bloody or mucoid diarrhea. So, pag tricuris, tricura, Japanese lantern, it is barrel-shaped with bipolar mucus plugs. Barrel shape or football shape or Japanese lantern. Ang rami. It's sura na tricuris, tricura or whipworm. Plus mukha siyang whip. Yan. Malaki yung ano niya, yung posterior na katawan niya. Yan. Malaki yung posterior. Whipworm. Parang la latigo. Yan. Malaki yung ano niya, posterior. Yan. Parang ganun. Yan, yan, yan. Perfect. Parang ganyan, with form. It is, it is. <laughs> okay. Next, next. So, trichuris, trichuris. Trichoriasis, trichocephaliasis, or reform infection. The adult is in the colon. So, E, N, T, enterobius, and trichuris. Sa colon po sila. So, underdeveloped egg. So, oviparus po yung female. Embryonated egg is ingested by man. So, embryonated egg is the infective stage. Yeah. Sabi niya, the larvae hatch in the small intestine penetrate in the villi. So, the villi is the finger-like project projections in your small intestine and return to, to lumen and migrate to sipum. Okay. And dito na po tayo sa Capillaria philippinensis, pudok worm. Yan. So, it causes pudok disease or mystery disease. So, same thing, may bipolar plugs rin ng capillaria, but it's smaller, it's peanut shape. And, class, what's unique about it is it, it is embryonated in water. Yan, it's embryonated in water. So, kung si Ascaris at saka si Ascaris tama, at saka si Strongyloides sa soil, si capillaria sa water. Yan. So, this is your epon, the intermediate um, host of your capillaria or uh, other intermediate host, we have birot, bagsang, bagtu. So, mode of transmission is eating and cook fish, yung mga kilawin. And class, isa sa pinaka-unique sa um, capillaria philippinensis is borborygmos or gurgling sound. So, maingay ang chan. Malabsorption, which is unique in Capillaria philippinensis and Georgia lamblia. Georgia. G A R A. Wag na natin. Georgia. R D I A. Yan. Georgia. Lamblea. Yan. That's a protozoa. So, pareho sila nagkakos ng malabsorption. So, check nyo lang kasi, ano, um, kaya tanong yan sa board exam. Okay. Now, we're in hookworm. Yan. I love the hookworm. So, Nekator Americanus, tinan nyo, wala siyang ngipin, only cutting plates. So, New World hookworm. Yan. New World. So, America. The Americas. Pag old world, usually Europe, yan. C-shape or two pairs of teeth. We have Braziliense cat hookworm and dog hookworm, three pairs of ventral teeth, yan. Ang cute ng mga oral cavity nila. So that's a way of identifying, classifying the species of your hookworm. Plus, meron tayong copulatory bursa rin kung anong itsura. So sa Necator, we have bipartite sa um the word denale is tripartite. So, guys, the life cycle of hookworm is adult lives in small intestine. So, from the egg, it will develop into rabditiform larvae or the feeding stage. 
papillary form larvae is the infective stage. Ito po yung nagpe-penetrate sa skin. And then, after that, it will mature into a, it will move. It will migrate from the lymphatics to blood to lungs. Aga sa pharynx, malulunok mo, small intestine. So, larval migration causes pulmonary lesion, bleeding in the lungs, iron deficiency, anemia. So, class, yung RBCs mo, microcytic, maliliit na nga, hypochromic, anemic pa, wala nang kulay in your peripheral blood smear. So, for who, human hookworm, ang tawag sa entry nila, yung itchiness sa pag-entry ng skin, ground itch. Pag sa animal hookworm, creeping eruption or cutaneous larval migration. So for class, the differentiation of your rhabditiform and filariform. So class, yung rhabditiform feeding stage, so naka-open yung mouth, ang cute, at mas maliit. Filariform, it's longer and it has closed mouth. So, the buccal cavity of your hookworm is longer. However, the genital primordium is small. So, opposite. So, the filariform larvae is sheath and point and tail. Sa strongyloides naman, notch tail. Please, huwag kakalimutan yan, okay? So, for strongyloides, it's also called threadworm. It is the only free-living nematode, meaning it could survive outside the body. Yan. So, though it will not have a definite host, an intermediate host, it will still survive. Yan. So, class strongyloides is parthenogenetic disease. I disease. Um, parasite meaning they do not need a male. So, they could fertilize itself. Yan. So, internal auto-infection. So, it increases the persistence of your strongyloides strongyloidiasis, MOT, skin penetration, same with hookworm. Ayun. Bronchonyomonia, honeycomb appearance, skin contamination. Haradamori, class. Yan, trichinella, spiralis, so muscle worm. So adult are in the small intestine cached and larvae in the muscles. So, man is a definitive host, an intermediate host, and a dead hand and the host. Since wala namang kumakain sa man, yan, hindi ma, ano, ma, kasi ang infective stage ng, ano, ng trichinella is ingestion of undercooked pork. Yan. So, with insisted larva. So, yan, dead and host means ang tao. Class, some, yung, baka makabasa kayo, measly pork. So, when we say measly pork, the pork is contaminated with parasite. So, the pork could be contaminated by trichinella spiralis or tenia solium. Mga TS. So, adult are in the small intestine. The viviparous female releases the larvae and penetrate the mucosa and disseminate into the bloodstream. Larvae insists in the muscle. Yan. So, class, sabi sa, ano, sa trichinella spiralis, it's a great imitator. Larval migration, edema, um, edema in the eyes. And intradermal test, class, Bachmann, sino diagnosis? Luma na tong dalawang to. So, serological test na ngayon. So, sabi niya, freezing destroys your trichinella spiralis. It requires two host to complete a life cycle. So, yun, minsan dead and host tayo. Propagated also by black and brown rats. So, if your pigs um, eats black and brown rats, pwede na lang makuha sa kanila. And finally, guys, filarial worms. So, filarial worms are your blood or tissue round worms. Yan. So, being bitten by a vector, by a fly, doon ka magkakaroon ng filarial worms. Yan. So, in the intermediate hopes are your vector. They harbor your microfilaria. And your definitive host is man. Kasi nasa atin ang adult stage. Yan. So, the infective stage is third stage larva. 
So life cycle, so adults are in the lymphatics, in the subcutaneous tissue, microfilaria ingested by the vector, microfilaria developed in the vector, filaria larva enter the skin at the feeding site. So pag kinagat ka na, so yung microfilaria naging filaria larvae na, so kagatin ka, tapos the larvae will migrate and develop to the to adult. So, one popular test is not concentration technique. So, it concentrates your blood using 2% formalin kasi it will lyse your red blood cells daw. And what the, st what the stain? Karim try kong ba? Hematoxylin ba? Gym sa stain. And class, this is your table for your microfilaria. I gave a link linked so that you could also get it. Ayan, naghanap ako ng updated version nito. Wala. So, class, ang maganda ino dito sa mga sa mga filarial worms is their sheath. So, hanggang lowa-lowa, they have sheath. Mansonella to Oncocerca, they have no sheath. What else? So, um, Muchararia, Brugia, they could be um, Retrieve in the blood during the night from 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. Yung mas bagan na kumuha ka ng, ng blood pagkabe. Kasi doon sila active. Pag lowa lowa diurnal, usually during the morning. And a periodic walang time. So class, your butcherary itong three lymphatic system. Okay, skin snips, on Cercable Volus. Ayan. So guys, that's all for the day. I hope that you've learned something. Okay, so bye now.